What up, YouTube? So I was away this weekend. I went back home to my hometown for Mother's Day and for a few other things, visiting friends and family and enjoying it. But the thing about where I'm from, Yuma, Arizona, is it's a bit of a food desert. There isn't great food in general, and I don't necessarily make good food choices while I'm there. So I ordered Domino's. This isn't a sponsored ad for any other pizza, by the way. And as I was eating my terrible Domino's pizza, I couldn't help but think of my favorite YouTuber, Blue Van Man. I don't particularly like it. I don't think it's that great. <laughs> and the pizza that he ate in his blue van. And some of the comments that you all made on that video about how he was either your favorite YouTuber or he didn't hold a candle to this other guy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today the battle ends. The war will be completed. Who is better, Blue Van Man or the contender? Rate my takeaway. Let's get into it. Today we are gonna check out this YouTuber, Rate My Takeaway, who I was told by famous editor Lion Eagle is better than Blue Van Man. Now, Blue Van Man came in my YouTube comments and complimented me and accepted my apology, so I would ride or die for him. But I do want to check out what kind of the competition is in this world. Let's see what Rate My Takeaway is up to. This grandma in Bolton cooked and sold me breakfast trying a huge family sharing box from a 9 a.m. opening takeaway. Traveling to Scotland to try a 5,400 calorie takeaway. I do like Iron Brew. Rate my takeaway, back on the road again. All right, we're going to a place today in Farnworth, all right? It's called Grandma's Kitchen. Now this old lass here, she's been knocking food out of her kitchen, all right? And she's been posting pictures on Facebook and Instagram. It looks absolutely amazing. A few people have told us about it. So we've Grandma's you know Kitchen? What, so I've had a look, I know what I want, so I'm gonna give it a call now and put my order in. A rotating menu, that's big. I'm in Grandma's Kitchen. Hiya love, can I place an order please? Yes, of course, what would you yeah. like? Can I have one of your uh, breakfast please, love? Yes, no problem, do you want everything on it? Oh, yes please, love, everything. Okay, and do you want sugar with your drink? Uh, no, thank you, love, I'm sweet enough. So oh, they say. Oh, he's sweet enough. <laughs> I'm gonna get my foot down now. I'm gonna get there in 10 minutes. Fill this belly up with grandma's breakfast. <laughs> oh, guys. I think I'm starting to like these kinds of YouTube videos. It just feels so low stakes that it makes me feel cozy. Right, guys, we're here. There's no sign up. There's a number six on the door. There's a food hygiene rating sticker in the window. So let's get out and see if this is Grandma's Kitchen. Let's go and knock on this it door. It must be Grandma's Kitchen. Uh, it's like throat key all this. I don't know what's going to be coming. So let's go and have a look. Oh, this is it. Number six. Let's go and see what we've got for breakfast. <laughs> there we go. He's just showing at someone's house. That's so funny. I've got a table. Am I right to put my table out here? And have someone to, yeah. No, Lovely. No. Thank you, love. <laughs> <laughs> He's showing up at the restaurant. He's like, oh, no, you don't need the table. I have the table. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you soon, love. Thank you. Grandma kind of young. Am I crazy? So, guys, if, if I'm honest with you, this has probably got to be one of the weirdest ones I've ever done. All right, because I'm... It's just a siren in the background. He's just sitting outside this house. At the middle of the street with my table and chair, waiting for somebody to cook me breakfast in their own house and bring <laughs> it out to me. Looks a bit like a scene from Coronation Street on a nice cobble road. I mean, I'm looking up. I can see people opening the curtains, looking out, thinking, God... What's this big fat fella doing outside? <laughs> it's a bit weird, isn't it? So, guys, let's have a look at this. Ooh. Ooh, see the, oh, that actually looks goaded. In there, it's a nice, full English breakfast. Oh, those Eggs tomatoes beautiful. are... Nicely done bacon, a couple of nice sausages. Up. So, let's give it a go. I'll tell you what, let's go straight in. Bit of toast. Nice, crusty fat. That is out. a massive piece of toast. Slow as this bit looks. Let's try these eggs. Oh, look at that. Nice soft egg. Oh, perfect. A good Two amount of, of yolk on there. This is the kind of bread that I love on a breakfast. This. <laughs> Toast? Toast is done nice. Nice and crisp. Nice colour to it. Some places you go, it looks like they've only scared it with toast, doesn't it? I guess. Let's get these out. Yeah. I said before, I can't understand why people do this. If you don't want beans on your breakfast, you just say. So... <laughs> Mushrooms. Oh, is he complaining because other people put them in a pot and he wants them to be like, hey, fuck it, just get them out of here? Nice white egg underneath. 
beautiful. So it's not been overcooked. You know, I would say maybe under undercooked for me. Am I crazy? I feel like that looks like just a regular egg. No, I want the yolk as runny as it gets, but I would much rather like scorch the bottom a little bit. So the bacon, it's got a nice crisp edge to it. Egg white right. without a little scorch tastes like nothing. It doesn't even taste good. A black pudding. Now oh, I love this stuff. Beautiful. What's black, what's black pudding? Gorgeous, that's a nice bit of black pudding. Famous black pudding, berry black pudding, ain't too far what, from like here. Like blood sausage? I had blood sausage once, and I thought it was well, okay, but the iron taste freaked me out a little bit. Oh, that's it is, really it is blood sausage. That's a really tasty, meaty sausage, that? The only thin ones, but they're quite nice, quite nice and tasty, then. Yeah, right, so we've got this here. Hiding oh, out that a hash the brown? toast. No. Oh, it is a hash brown. It looks like some kind of homemade hash brown, what she does here. Oh. There's a cross between an ash brown and an omelette. Oh. So there seems to be potato and onion in here, fried up with a bit of egg. Oh, there's egg in the hash brown? Looks really good. You can actually taste and you can feel that it's a quality. <laughs> I actually hate the sped up, the fast forwarding, because all of a sudden the sound cuts and it, it like brings me back to reality. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go give Grandma a shout and see if she's got me cookie ready so I can have a bite of that. Oh, and then the I can go for a reveal with you. All right, so I'll see you soon. I'm going to go get Grandma now. Ring the doorbell. Hi, you love. Am I all right to have my cookie? Is that all right? Yeah. yeah I'll bring them out. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> so what a this, respectful oh, I'm gentleman. I'm looking forward to this because I've seen these cookies. Am I all right to have my cookie? And she goes, of course you are. I'll bring you your cookie. Grandma's here with the cookies. Lovely. Thank you very much. So what's these then? Wait, he called her grandma and she didn't say anything. Is she grandma? Is she just being polite? Grandma, are these the Kinderella ones that I saw online? Yeah, so it's a mixture of um, black milk so sauce, which is hazelnut sauce and Nutella mixed together. Right. And that's, that's in the middle. That actually looks fantastic. So, also, they feel quite warm. Do you freshly make these every yeah, day? Yeah, so when, when the customer orders, they made them fresh every day. Right. I don't have any the day after. Lovely, thank you very much. Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll have a taste of these, thank you. She does look younger than him. Oh, my God, they're lovely and warm. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, that's good. Oh. Damn, that's some good stuff. I mean, I've, I've said to you before that sometime I take some of these, this stuff home to my kids and that, but... Not this time, baby. <laughs> I mean, the camera guy is just sitting there. Wait, does he? Nice is there a camera guy or does he just have a the setup? They're nice and warm. Adds to oh, it. he's got a camera guy. Oh, he's got a camera guy. Oh, that's brutal. He better get some cookie. Oh, so this has cost me 18 quid. 18 quid. What's a quid to a dollar? That cost him $22, even with the cookie and all that food? That's a good deal. All right. Bearing in mind, I've got five freshly baked cookies. The breakfast, everything on here. This is a two-person breakfast nice and, and cookies. Nice and hot. So that's $12. Nice and fresh. Quality ingredients. I wish all I could right. get the that. The black pudding will be beautiful. The sausage, it's a quality sausage. It's not like your standard sausage. Yeah, that's a bargain. This might even be a three person meal with all those cookies. The tomatoes, the beans. But there's only good. two pots of beans. That's Farmhouse the bread, like I said, personally, it's one of my favourites. On a breakfast, it gives it that nice crunch. Nice smoky bacon. And then, I mean, I'm, I'm going to ask hash you brown what, is what really is a life changer. So for me, for the breakfast, for the amount of money that I've paid for this, I think it's absolutely spot on. So, in my opinion, it's going to be getting a nice solid nine for me, is this? To, to knock this out, out in your own kitchen, uh, this quality, absolutely spot on. So well done to Grandma's Kitchen. If you live near here, come and try it out. Like I said, go on Facebook. Imagine that Grandma got busted because of this. <laughs> she was running an illegal kitchen out of her house during COVID, just trying to make ends meet, and he boomed her. Put your comments in, guys. Tell us what you think, All right, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to enjoy this, and I'm definitely going to enjoy them. See you later. Right, guys, so I've just been back in. Did he just do an outro and then there was like a magic mirror effect and we're still here? So, all right, guys, I'll see you next time. And I'm going to polish this off now. See you later. I have to take everything away. Is this the third time he says this? This guy's got three outros for one video and not a single one of them have led me out of the video. Right, guys, I'm full now. I'm absolutely busting at the seams. I'm off. I'm going to take these home. They'll be my sneaky little treat later on. Uh huh. See you next time. 
Imagine there's a post credit scene. <laughs> I liked that. That was, wow, that was a lot more of a real rating than Blue Van Man. Blue Van Man is more of a pirate radio resistance. I'm doing my own thing my own way. Whereas that guy is actually rating takeaway. And I think that pitting them against each other is really unfair to either of them, right? Because they're not they're not serving the same niche. I want to see Blue Van Man say some crazy shit to his wife. You know what I mean? About Buckfast tonic wine that we buried in the park before the music festival. And I want to see... <clears throat> sorry. One more time. Rate my takeaway. Give me his actual opinion as a foodie on how good this location is. So you know what? As much as a cop-out as it is... I like them both. I think they're both very good. I think that I'm not going to have to say down with Blue Van Man, rate my takeaway is my ride or die. And I'm not going to have to say, hey, don't come on my turf, rate my takeaway. Manchester belongs to Blue Van Man. And I'm also, I learned about conversions of quid to, to US dollars. So all in all, a pretty good day.